Hey, hey, hey everyone, uh, we got kind of an interesting video tonight. I know I want to apologize for the last video because I was really tired and I was talking a lot about my other game. You guys probably don't even care. You wanted me to talk more about what I was the video was about, which was leveling a priest. Um, let me turn the music down as always. Now I've got the uh, bandy camp set to record what we're looking at here, guys. So, you know, we're recording my desktop now. So you guys are going to be able to see everything I'm doing here, which is great. And what we're going to do is, because Light's Hope, um, Northdale server right now is down and plans on being down for, they said anywhere from 16 to the next 24 hours. So I had the priest that I was leveling up, which was Rhapsody, who was a level 3 Night Elf priest when I started leveling her. But I think what I may do, and I'm going to ask you guys this in this video right now, is would you rather see me <coughs> level up a character from, from, you know, from zero, from one, sorry, from level one? <laughs> I know in my leveling series, it might have even been the Cute Faith one. I said, leveling from 0 to 60, well, you're never 0. You're always at least level 1. So that was kind of erroneous. But I want to ask you guys if you want me to start over from level 1. I've always leveled Night Elves for Priests. I like the Night Elf race. I just do. Um, but the human racials are a little better. Um, of course, the best racial for a for a priest is going to be a Dwarf Priest. So you have that, that fear ward. But I just don't like Dwarves. They're ugly as fuck. So... <laughs> But I could be convinced to level a human priest. And i got to be honest with you, I've never played a human priest ever. Um, ever. Um, the only priests I've ever created in WoW were Blood Elves or Night Elves. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. So if you guys put in the comments here, you know, let me know if you'd rather see me level up a human priest from 0 to 60 or if you'd, level, if you'd rather see me continue with Rhapsody, who's currently level 5. Um, I think it might be kind of fun to start the human priest just because I've never done a human priest before. Um, and their casting animations are, well, they're okay. They're, I think the, the night elves are pretty good, but the, the human priest, the animations are pretty nice as well. So what we're going to do since Northdale is down is we're going to talk about the priest class. And I want to go over the guide um, that we have that I'm probably going to be following. Well, not probably. The guide that I am going to be following, which is this one, which is from the Stowerys Forums. Um, and I seem to somehow have clicked off of it. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but let's click the back button and we'll probably get to it. Yep, there we go. So this is the guy that, that um, Botmaster here posted on the Nasarius servers. And I never played on the Nasarius server, but Nasarius is what made me, is what brought me to the attention to me that, that, that private servers actually can be good. I always thought they were just shit, you know, that they would be, have a lot of issues. And I was wrong. Nasarius showed me. When that server went down and I saw this uprising start to show up in YouTube channels and then across the web, I was like, wow, what is this? This must have been a pretty cool server if all these people were making all this fuss. And that's when I, when Elysium came out, I said, I got to try this out. And I was uh, pleasantly surprised that the private server experience is actually really good. And so the nice thing about this guy here, he does have, um, if we, and I think these are still working. Let's go look at these. He's got screenshots of certain levels um, and, and they are correct. So here you see like, what well, this is my talent build at level 20. Um, and let's go and open up the, 20, the level 44 one. But <clears throat> he's got them um, built out here by level. So from level 10 to level 11, you're going to put your, t your two talent points into Spirit Tap. Uh, and then the next three talent points you want to put right into, I'm sorry, the next five want to go into Wand Specialization. He, so basically he's saying, let's get, some, let's get some Mana Regen going right off the bat, but let's not waste too many talent points into that. Let's get our Wand Spec up to 5-5, five, five, then we'll go and finish out Spirit Tab 5-5. Five five. At that point, you're going to be like level 20, and then you're going to go into Holy Specialization. I'm not going to read through the rest of these. The most important thing is this build focuses as a Wand Leveling build. So these, really, these first... Um, 10 talent points or you know you have to go this route or this builds pretty much useless so the reasons being and he explains it right here is that one five of five plus five five spirit test equals more spirit mp5 uptime less time drinking more kills per minute faster leveling that's the whole basis for this this build um, i've leveled it before to 45 i think 50 and i really liked it i thought it was pretty good he even goes through the the rotations that you want to use so i'm going to leave this up you guys can always come back to this video and take a look at it it's a very short guide this is it the whole guide is uh some of these guys don't like it but a lot of these or he said i'm not going to read through that but i guess there was a few things he wanted to tweak and obviously it looks like he went back and tweaked them but this is the whole guide really basically just this section here so i'll leave this here you guys can always come back and look at it um he says this guy stops for because when you ding 40 <clears throat> 45 you can continue as holy disc or you can respect 
um, you know, as shadow, you know, whatever you want to do. Pros, cons, holy disk, easier to find groups to run instances as a dedicated healer, shadow, DPS, DPS, DPS. I personally, myself, probably won't. <laughs> Sorry, at 45, I'll probably just keep going. I'll probably respec at 45 and do a pure uh, holy priest healing build um, and just heal my way to 60. Um, probably. I actually really enjoy healing. Um, the priest is probably the, well, not probably, the priest is the class I've played the most throughout all of WoW. If you look at all my playing time and all my classes and all, you know, throughout since WoW started, and I started playing all the way back when it started day one in 2004, November 11th or 20th, November 12th, um, my first class was Druid. I played that for a couple days, and I stopped because I felt like they weren't that, I felt like they were a good class, but they were they were good at a lot of things, but they weren't great at anything, so I switched over to the Priest, and I really enjoyed the Priest. The Priest was obviously the best healer, I think, in Vanilla WoW, and even in every iteration of WoW going forward, the priest was always a good class. There were a few places where it wasn't as good, you know. Um, there were times when disc was just overpowered, and there were times when disc really sucked, <laughs> and you had to go back to, like, holy. I can't ever remember going, what's the other one? There's holy, disc, and shadow. Shadow's been really good a couple expansions. Anyways, I'm digressing. I, I get off topic. You know how I am. But this is the guide I'm going to follow up to level 45, so this is here for you guys to take a look at. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is I really, really love, um, I really, really love this guy's, uh, this Prot Cow's quick priest guide, and I wanted to show this to you guys, because I think he really covers, and you can see right here he covers, this is the most common healing talent build, it boosts your healing power, and you can heal your raid for a short period of time after you die. This build here I really agree with, you know, I played priest, and I, I main healed Molten Core on my priest in Vanilla WoW, and I was very successful, I, I, Usually ran out of mana um, at the last. All the other healers were, were running through mana before me. So I was very good at managing my mana, my mana pool. And uh, I really agree with the, what this guy talks about. What I like about this, this guide is he goes through some of the different main healing builds. And he kind of talks about why one's better than the other. And then he goes through the spell use and he says kind of which spells should you use. You know, it's when. And he talks about um, useful stats. The best race, you know, dwarf, whatever, fear ward. I'm not, whatever. You know, fear ward. It's great. <laughs> it's great for PvP. It's great in certain instances, but in most cases, it's not a make or break ability. But there are certain situations where obviously having Fear Ward is great. Um, let's move on. But right here, this is the section that's the most important. And he starts talking about downranking, and he explains, and look at how, how cool the, the human greater heal animation is. It's kind of nice. Um, and I got to admit, that human looks pretty cool right there. But when you, he talks about the, the, uh, man, the efficiency and how to calculate that, but he's really talking about downranking and what spells are good to downrank. Um, when to use power with shield, you know, and then he goes through your pre, you know, raid items, stuff like that. Good add-ons to use. A lot of these I use already, like buff watch. I've never used chronometer, and I'm probably thinking about grabbing that. And I have decursive, I think, but I've never actually really used I never really used decursive in raiding, and I never found myself at a huge disadvantage. I did a good job. Um, but as, as a priest, I wasn't decursing quite as much as some of the other classes. Obviously, you know, we had... <clears throat> we had more of like magic decurse. It was a lot more important in certain situations, but he even goes through macros. I don't know if these macros work in this conversion of the client, so I haven't tested this out yet. So definitely take a look at this guide. I'll put the link to this guide. I'll also put the link to this guide in the the video, you know, the bottom of this video, um, in the comment section, you know, in the information section of this video that I'm about to record. So since Northdale is down, um, what we're going to do is we're on... The other server, I think it's Lights or Lights Hope. I can't remember. You know what? Let's find out. So Northdale is down. So this is Lightbringer. Lightbringer has a low pop. This is the server I was on with Shady with Cute Faith, and you can see she her, she's been forced to be renamed to Shady Blocks. This was my first paladin I leveled to sixty Cute Faith. Um, but when they switched servers, they moved him. I had to rename this character, so I just called it Shady Blocks. But dumb name. And then I actually have the other lower level Cute Faith here. Um, but I actually, the only time I ever got to name a priest Faith is, is this one. <laughs> and my friend uh, Zolson actually, when this server came up, right as the server came up, he actually grabbed this name for me. I said, if you can get in there and get that name, I'll give you 10 gold, which is pretty much all the gold I had on my account at the time. He got it. I was all excited. I was like, this is the first time I'm ever going to have a priest named Faith. I've always loved the name Faith for a priest, you know. And Faith Driven up here. Without the one, obviously, but Faith Driven is the name on my main priest and pretty much the main character I've played all through my life of World of Warcraft. The character that has the most playtime is, is a priest called Faith Driven. Um, 
So I was all excited. And then what did they do? They brought up a new realm, and everybody went to that one. And so here I've got this priest named Faith. I was all excited. I couldn't even, you know, what's the point of playing her? The, the pop dropped down to like under 1,000. It was completely dead. So anyway, so I wanted to go over kind of those things, like kind of what God I'm following, talk about maybe starting from scratch with a human. You guys, please let me know in the comments section what you want me to do. And then just once again, <clears throat> to kind of go over um, maybe some of the macros and stuff again and kind of how I set up my UI. Um, I use Xperl for, you know, my target frames here. Um, I've got Buff Watch here already. You know, in that one video, he said Buff Watch. Buff Watch nice. You know, I can buff myself. Um, I can turn on Buff Watch, and it will show. It will track. Actually, it's not tracking me right now. I only use it on a Paladin, so I've actually never used it on a Priest. So apparently it's not tracking it for some reason. I'll have to look a, look a, you know, play around with that and figure out why it's not tracking it. But like my Paladin, it'll track all the buffs I'm, I'm pushing out. So right now it should show the... Uh, let's, let's see what happens if I do this. Okay, so it is working. See how it's red? It's showing that my, my buff... See, Buff Watch Monitor it has expired. So let's just recast it. There we go. Okay, now it's showing. So these are the buffs I'm tracking. Fortitude. <laughs> And it'll show for all the people in my party. So I can buff all my five members of my party with Bibby, um, Power Word Fortitude. If I had, you know, can I, I can't remember how to resize this. This is how you can kind of minimize it. But anyways, um, but yeah, you can, uh, you can set it up so that it shows all the buffs in your party members. And when they start to drop off or when they do drop off, they'll turn red. And usually your spells are all about the same amount of time. You cast one, you cast the next, cast the next. So when the first one turns red, you know the others are about to turn red and drop off. So you can just rebuff your party. So it's a good add-on. Um, you know, obviously, recount, I don't use for damage, obviously, because I'm a healer, but I use it to track healing done. Um, I also like, what I like to do with recount a lot, if I'm a priest, is I like to look at visible quantity, and I like to look at damage taken. So if I'm doing a good job of healing, uh, the tank should be taking all the damage you know, if I'm doing a good job of managing my threat, is what I should say. I should not be taking a lot of damage. A lot of times you'll see healers taking way too much damage, and that's because they are not managing their threat. We have an ability, obviously, right here called Fade. So you want to use Fade to help reduce your threat in certain situations. Excuse me. And I don't really know what to do with this video because this is a level 14 priest. It's obviously not the priest I'm going to focus on for this leveling series. But I just wanted to get a video out there show you guys those guys that I'm that I like to that I probably will be taking a lot of inspiration from or a lot of tips from is for how I'm going to play this particular priest. But let's take a look. Let's see. I want to make sure that my UI is set up correctly. Um I use Shagu nameplates which will show up as a nameplate on the enemy. I don't see it yet, so let's There it is. There we go. Now let's throw Shadow or Pain and it'll show the Shadow or Pain on the nameplate. See that? Okay. And I have to set up my macros, which I haven't done yet. So, actually, I've got a wand, so let's go ahead. <laughs> I don't even know what the talent bit on this character is. And you can see these horrible sc numbers. Sc see the numbers scrolling on the left side and right side of my screen? Isn't that hilarious? That's mixed scrolling battle text, and I'll turn that off. I obviously I installed that for a certain reason, um, but it's not it's not configured. So, <laughs> so we'll turn that off here. Mix battle text. This for fun, we'll, we'll set it up, okay? Notification up here. We're going to do the incoming damage, the outgoing. This. And scroll area straight up. Scroll destination. Text to line, scroll height offset preview. Okay. Where's the speed? Animation style. And they do like a little curvature to it. All right, save settings. Okay, we'll leave it for now, just for fun. Yeah, and you can see when I cast renew, it shows. All right, it's uh, it mixed scrolling battle text. If you configure it properly, can actually be fairly. It can be fairly nice, but the the one thing, and you saw it on Cute Faith, is when I have when I I'm blocking and AOE like six or seven mobs, the numbers are scrolling right on top of my head, and sometimes it makes it hard for me to see what I'm doing with my cursor. Um, so something like scrolling battle text could be a, a help in that area because you can scroll the damage numbers and stuff around your character, not right over the top of your character. So, you know, it can be useful. Um, I need to, I need to set up some macros. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into super macro and 
I went ahead and grabbed some since this particular client, I mean, I'm running the same instance of the, of the WoW client, but these are two different accounts. This account that I'm logging to right now is different than the other account that has all my super macros built into it. So even though it's the same, you know, instance of WoW that I'm running, it saves it by account, which is, I tried to copy the right files over, but I couldn't get to work right. So we're just going to copy a few of these in. So something like this, uh, healing touch, right? And we're going to go into here, we're going to say new super, and we're going to create one for lesser heal. What is this, rank two? We're just going to say lesser heal. That's all we're going to call it. And what we're going to do is try to create a one-button macro for healing me or someone in my party, you know, or someone that I've targeted. And we're just going to find the icon. Here we go. Looks like this one right here, I think. Okay, and we're going to paste this in. And what we're doing here is slash script local A. We're, see, we're creating a local variable um, that's tracking whether or not the shift key is down. So this is a built-in super macro keyword is shift key down. So it's a function. See the parentheses here after that? That defines it as a function. It's going to run a function. It's going to check if I'm holding down the shift key. If I am, then what it's going to say in the next thing is it's going to check. A is going to be equal to true or false, whether the shift key is down. If A is equal to nil or null or basically I don't have the shift key down, then cast the spell on me. Okay, so this is this is okay when I'm not healing a group, but but when if I was healing a party, I would flip flop that. I would say if the shift key's down, heal me. Oh wait, no, actually, actually, it's correct. If shift key's down, if it's oh if it's not down, heal me. So like the way I do it with my my healers is if I'm healing in a party, I want to hit like the three key, like you see here. Three is lesser heal. So if I hit the three key, I'm just going to heal who I have targeted. But if I want to heal myself because I'm taking damage, I would just do shift three. Right now it's reversed. If I do shift three, it's going to heal the person I have targeted. So, and to flip that around, let me see if I've got the vice versa one on here. Mm, I don't. I'm a little bit disappointed that I don't. Let's go ahead. What we're going to do is we're actually going to pull that up. You can see I got a lot of icons on my desktop. I have a lot of game development, different software, but so let's go in. Uh, And what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of those macros that's flip-flopped. Just so I can get it in that notepad document. I'm not going to set it up that way yet, but I want to show you guys the difference. Okay, so we go. And this, this isn't set up. Just ignore the screen. It's all fucked up. So what we have is... And it would be like on a healer hero class like this. So if the shift key is not down then cast it on my target. Say true, this comma true right here means cast it on me. So this is the one we want. So what this macro will do is it's going to cast, see how it says healing touch group? That's what I named it. That means it's, it's a group focused heal, meaning I'm focusing my heals towards the group. That's why I called it that. So let's go out here. All right. And we're just going to throw this in here. I'm not going to set up mine on this way. When I'm leveling, I set them up this way. I, you know, I want to cast heals on myself most of the time because I'm leveling. I'm solo leveling. I'm not in a group. But when I'm in a group, I want my heals just to be I'm pressing 3 to heal my target. If I hit shift 3, I'm healing me. Because obviously most of the times in a party, if I'm healing, I'm going to be healing my group, not me. But if I'm leveling and I'm just soloing and doing quests, most of the heals are going to be going against me. So I don't want to hit shift 3 every time. I just want to hit 3 and heal me. And that's kind of the way I do it. Right now, the way this is set up is it's just going to heal me. So let's make sure that I'm not lying to you guys. And let's configure this. It's called Lesser Heal Rank 2. So, right, we're going to go Lesser Heal, Lesser Heal, Rank 2. And it's going to cast it with me. And then same thing here. <coughs> lesser Heal, Rank 2. All right, two. All right, save. Now we should be able to put this key right. Oops. Say, oh, I hope my. Why is it not so? Oh, I'm an idiot. For some reason, it's not letting me drag it out. Weird. It's not letting me drag. It's not letting me drag it. We got a little bit of a bug going on here. Save. Come on, guys. I don't know what's happening. This has never happened before in my life. <laughs> Something is not working. I have no idea. I 
All right, well, let's just, <laughs> we're just going to kill this. We're going to kill the client and restart. I've actually never had that happen before. So we got some funny business going on right here, guys. We'll get all this. This is what I do with my video, though, is, um, is I don't. Uh, here, look, here, we've got this other window. Let's, let's check this out real quick, right? Okay. See that? I'm dragging it right out. So why is it not letting me drag it? So what we're going to do, we're going to log right back in. And let's see if just relogging it will let me do it. That was very bizarre. Oh, that's wants me to rename that character. Anyways, I just want to show you guys some of these macros. Um, I use pretty much this type of macro for almost all of my you know healing spells and. All right, super macro. Please let me drag it now. So there's something bugged with with super macro. Uh, it's unfortunate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to exit this. What we're going to do is we're going to wipe out. We're just going to wipe it out. Um, we're going to go with Fuck. We're going to go Account. We're going to go Shady Fate. And we are going to go to Lightbringer. And what we got? Faith. Uh, save variables, and we're just going to delete uh, Super Macro, which is not even here. So, okay, let's go back to Lightbringer, Shady Fa Save Variables, Super. We're going to delete Super Macro. We're just going to delete these. Okay, and hopefully that'll that'll reset it. You know, we probably should delete the what? The WTB. You guys are getting all kinds of fun stuff here. We're going to go into, actually, that's the wrong folder gonna go into wow classic and we're gonna go to what the fuck WDB yeah most of the stuff we don't care about nah I don't think we need to do that all right let's start the client up all right And hopefully what we can do now is we can recreate that macro and actually drag it to the bar. This is that's kind of frustrating. I've never seen that happen before, and it's probably because I've been trying to copy some of those super macro settings from one um, account to the other. So let's go back into super macro. And we just want to say new super. And we're going to say uh, lesser heal. Excuse me. Okay. And save. And it's still, okay, well, we're not going to be able to do this macro for right now, but you guys get the idea. Normally this works and I can drag this out. I don't know what's going on right now. Um, I have no idea why it's not letting me drag this out. It's extremely frustrating, I can tell you that. Does it work yet? I don't even. Huh. Let me try something else here. I want to see, see what they're using the same version. 3.15. So strange. I can go here and drag these macros right out. This is the kind of stuff that makes me want to like, you know, I don't want to, I want to figure it out. So I'm like, damn it, what's wrong? Here's regular. What's this? New account. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's do this. I wonder if this will work. New account. That's that account. That's this account, though. It's not my other account. Huh. That is so bizarre. Let's do another new one. Test. Save. I don't know why it won't let me try that. You know, sometimes, oh, you know what? There's one thing I thought of. Sometimes this happens, and I don't know if this is it or not, but you'll have an, if you have an add on that's overlapping another add on, it'll prevent some of the functionality. So notice how my, uh, my, my uh, quest is there. Let's try this. This is the only other thing I can think of. Nope. That is just, I have no idea, guys. No idea why it's doing that. All right, so we're going to say fuck that. Screw that then. We are going to go to macros. You know, and see, that macro won't work in here. Hmm. We're just going to have to do it the hard way. Well, I wasn't planning on doing much leveling on this character anyway. 
uh, you know, you could, you know, basically all I wanted to show you guys was kind of how to set up some of those macros. Those macros do work. Um, it's just really annoys me. Anyway, so here, like your rotation on, on the priest would pretty much be um, shield yourself, shadow word pain, right? Maybe jump back a little bit, do your wand. You know, and that's about it. You know, do your wand, wand, maybe, uh, you know, mind blast. I don't know why I'm saying the spell's not ready. Oh, so there's another bug we got going on. Sorry, guys. Like I said, this is a completely different account, and it wasn't really set up. So, so it's just kind of fucked up. <laughs> oh, what a great video. Oh, what a great video. This is awesome. Um, so we'll stop the video there. But anyways, I, you guys got you got the idea. Um, some of the guys, you know, some of the ways I'm going to level the priest here you can see the buff watch so you can see that it's showing my uh, powered shield was up you know absorbs damage and we also had our spirit tap up so we were regening some some mana there with spirit tap so if you look at this build this is pretty much uh, I'm level 14 so we've applied four talent points so the shadow um, the first two talent points go into spirit tap and then as soon as I hit level uh, let's see it would be 13 I guess when I hit level 13 we're gonna jump over here 13 and 14 go into here actually no, 10, 11, 12, 13. Interesting. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, that's right. So that's just how you start that build out. Let's try another combat here. What was wrong with this button? Macro? All right, let's get rid of this. I'm not sure what was going on with that. I'm not sure what was going on with that button. Um, let's go into our Mind Blast, right? Okay, and let's try to make sure Mind Blast. All right, so you shield yourself, basically. You're going to go in. You're going to do Shadow Word Pain, right? If I can get this fucker. And then maybe Mind Blast. And then do your Wand. And then when Mind Blast comes up, if you want, you can do it again. But by the time it comes up, he'll pretty much almost be dead. So, boom, it comes up. Now I can just Mind Blast. Now I wouldn't have to Mind Blast there. He's dead. I could just go into, you know, we'll kill, finish him out with Wand. Um, but you know, either way, you know, Mind Blast uses quite a bit of mana and it does really good damage. You can see he didn't even get through my shield, so here we could just do another Shadow Word Pain. Now you can get a little bit of distance by moving, so jump back, we can shield ourselves, you know, then we can wand. Now we can see the Shadow Word Pain on the Shagu plates here, so I don't have to do anything, I can just wand him right now, and you know, he doesn't even hit through my shield. So this is pretty much rinse and repeat. Uh, this is how you would do your rotation. And you're really going to, you can see my mana's not going to get very low. Um, if you did two Mind Blasts, you'd probably burn through a little bit more mana. But my Spirit Tab just dropped off, and I'm 100%. Let's do another one. Uh, let's do another one of these guys over here. Let's go ahead and get, you know, keep keep Inner Fire up. You can see here I've got some, uh, some, some Spider Kebabs. I would recommend always level your cooking to get that extra bit of Spirit. You know, this is going to give me two more stamina, two more Spirit. It doesn't seem like a lot, but every little bit, every little bit helps. And I'm a big proponent of... You know, of, of getting as much stuff in as you can. I wonder if there's something I'm missing for Super Macro on this particular account. I just, why can't I not drag this? It's really bugging me. I mean, seriously, it's pissing me off. You must be standing to do that. Hey, right, let's just keep the window open. <laughs> no, I didn't. What the hell? I mean, really, what's going on here, guys? I don't understand why I can't save super. Hide names on X. No, no. Show tooltip. Show tooltip. Show mini map. Auto replace action. I'm not sure what that does. Auto check cooldown for action. Show menu button. What does this mean? Okay, exit. I don't know. Fuck, that pisses me off. But you want to do quests. Um, Go ahead, let's go ahead and shield myself, right? We're going to grab this guy with Shadow Word Pain at, at max range, right? Then do your Mind Blast. And then go right into your Wand. And if you want, you can do another Mind Blast when it comes up. You know, like on this guy, I probably would just because since I was Cyclone like that. or And my, my Shadow Word Pain dropped, so these guys, that's why I wanted to do these guys. is because it takes a little bit longer. So there I did two Mind Blasts. 
and you can see my spirit tap still up for another eight seconds, and I'm going to be 100% mana. So even after using two Mind Blasts there, and Mind Blasts use quite a bit of mana, it's fit, well, 50, that's not a lot, actually. Um, but I only have, I have 610, but I'm easily at 100% mana, so that's not bad. Um, so just do quests. Um, we'll go through that build that, you know, the first 45, I would recommend using that. Make sure you level your cooking. I definitely pick uh, enchanting and tailoring. You can go the other professions if you want, but enchanting and tailoring just to synergize themselves pretty well, I think, with priests. You know, you can make yourself some cloth gear that can be helpful. Um, you're an enchanter, so you can enchant your own stuff, which is going to make you even better. Um, you give yourself an intellect and spirit and stuff like that. It's going to really help you out. Um, and that's about it for this particular video. Um, sorry about I had all the troubles with the, the macros and stuff. Um, but let me know about the, you know, if you want to see me <clears throat> create a new character like a human or something. Let me know if there's anything else you want to talk about or uh, if, you know, I know one person was asking me about some macros. Uh, again, you know, pretty much uh, these macros, really, like this macros, I use for almost all my spells, you know. You know, any kind of a healing spell or any kind of a buff spell is going to be have, have a macro like this. You know, if you want to just do a basic spell, like cast a spell on myself. Now, keep in mind when you cast this spell here, like this this macro here will cast Holy Light on myself, but it, it won't lose my target. So if I have someone else targeting the party and I and I execute this macro, it's going to cast the heal on me, but I'm still going to retain the same target. So that's what makes that macro pretty nice. Um, this is the, uh, excuse me, this is your attack macro. So this is basically going to say, if not is current action 37, then use action 37. Um, that, oh, that's why that macro was fucked up. Cancel. No, I don't want to delete that. But that's actually why that was fucked up. I forgot. So if you go in here, let's let's set that one up just to show you guys how that went. Well, we won't really be able to set it up. But what you'll have is this is slot 37. So your attack, your your attack key, your attack icon here, or skill, whatever you need to drag that to this particular spot on your action bars. And then this macro here will just say if is current if basically you are attacking, it's saying is current action 37. So slot 37. If that's the current action, meaning are you attacking, because that that's that icon is, is the attack icon, then, you know, if you're not, if it's current action, then use action. If not, is current, sorry. If, if you're not attacking, then attack. But if you are attacking, it's not going to stop your attack. So, and now the other thing I did here was I said n slash run UI. Now, these are on two different lines, right? These would be two lines of the same macro. Um, the only reason I have that is if you spam that key a lot, it will throw an error up saying, like, if you're out of range, saying, uh, you know, target out of range. So if you're spamming the attack mat icon as you're moving forward towards the target with, say, uh, you're, you're a hunter, and you're spamming auto attack with your bow, and you're out of range, it's going to keep scrolling up. Oh, out of range, out of range. Well, I don't want to see that red text constantly, so I'll say run UI, UI errors, you know, frames clear, and it'll, it'll clear that shit out. So it just makes it a little bit easier to keep your UI a little bit clean. Um, I wish there was more stuff I could talk about. I didn't really prep for this video a lot because of the fact that the other server is down, so it's not like I'm actually playing. And I really didn't want to level this character who's level 14. You know, that's, I thought that seems like kind of a waste of time. Um, I thought about creating, <laughs> like, a priest, like a, a human priest on this server, but I'm kind of screwed because I have so many characters. But you know what I can do? You know what I can do, guys, is let's log out here, and we'll go to the other account that I have, and I can create a priest on that server. And the macros seem to work on that server. Go fucking figure. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's log out here. And we are going to stop this video, and I'll start a new one on the other server and just say, I'll call it like, you know, test level priest, humanoid priest, or something like that. So thanks for watching me ramble on, because this has been kind of a crazy video. Um, and I hope you guys are having a good night, and I'll talk to you in the next video.